today I want to talk to you about the freedom found in giving up control. As parents, we are so used to controlling everything about our children, micromanaging every moment. But let me share a little story with you. A few nights ago, I had my young niece over and we decided to bake some chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. We talked about school, we made jokes, and we also made a huge mess in the kitchen. When we were done, she insisted on washing up the dishes. As she turned on the tap and she got started, there was a huge mess already. Plates slid out of her hands, bubbles flew left and right, and water dripped everywhere. My first instinct was to grab the sponge from her and clean up the mess she'd made. But I paused long enough to notice the joy in her smile and the concentration in her eyes. After a couple of big splashes, she learned to hold the plates in one hand and scrub with the other. Then she found the perfect angle to hold the plates and rinse them and she stacked them very neatly onto the rack. And when she was done, she used her towel to soak up all the soapy water around her and she stood back and she beamed with pride. Because I resisted the urge to intervene, she found her own way in her own time. Something amazing happens when we release our need to control our children, when we get out of the way and let them learn naturally. As Henry Ponder wrote, pour milk into tea, but do not stir. Watch milk clouds and tea seas swirl together at the gentle pace that they prefer. So when your instinct is to jump in and take over, see if you can step back and allow things to naturally unfold. Give your child room to find their own way. Sometimes there's beauty to be found in letting things be. Little children are curious, they're imaginative, they're creative, they're playful and so much more. Our role is to respect and to support them on this journey. A child's environment and their experiences is what supports them in learning the important skills. Parents and teachers need to be aligned with these natural ways of learning. Children grow and thrive when we give them opportunities to collaborate with others, to participate in creative projects, and to develop skills in meaningful ways. They need to be able to practice activities hands-on, in the real world, in real ways. And in this way, their brains and bodies develop the important skills. As Kevin Robinson, the educator, so rightfully said, children will grow and learn successfully where there are adults who guide them and also respect and care for them. So give it a try this week when you have that instinct to jump in and take control, let go, stand back and just watch in amazement as you will see how beautifully your child will unfold and learn something so wonderful in front of you. If you've enjoyed this video, Please show me some love by hitting the like button and do subscribe to our channel because we will keep coming back with more. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.